Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my updated makeup tutorial. You know, first thing you need to do is wash your face. I already did that. But next thing you need to do is moisturize. So my moisturizing combo. But before we even put on the moisturizer, we're going to put on something on our lips. My lips is hella dry. Let me drink. Let me drink some water first. Yeah. Yeah. I do fuck with the elf. But the topicals... It, if you if you don't got the money for topicals, get this. But if you ready to splurge for topicals, get that. Cause I'm telling y'all, it changed my life. I'm using the Bioma Gel Moisturizing Cream. After that, I go in with the Innisfree Cherry Blossom like Jelly Cream. No, the sunscreen that I like is the Black Girl Sunscreen. This one is the 31, and this is Broad Spectrum. One thing about me, I'm not like too much of like a little mirror type person. But like my boyfriend bought me this mirror, this Hello Kitty mirror, and I think it's like perfect for like when I'm doing things with my eyes. I like taking the e.l.f. brow lift. Everything, like most of those things in my makeup routine is affordable simply because like I'm just that type of person. So I'm taking the brow lift and I'm putting it on my eyebrows. Now that that's dry, we're going to go in with primer. The primer that I like using is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I know that it's a dupe for the milk and I do like two two and a half pumps and I just rub it on my face it's a dupe for the milk makeup hydro grip primer I used to love that primer however honestly we I mean this is me being honest I'm trying both products I already tried the one I used to love that one this one is way cheaper and it literally gives you the same result I've seen people do this Ooh. I like to go in with this NARS foundation. So my shade in the NARS foundation, I cannot pronounce it, but it's called Min Minas, I think. And all something I realized as well is like when y'all using your foundation, make sure y'all shake it up. Cause sometimes, depending on how long it's been since you did your foundation, like it just like separate in a bottle. You can't even tell, and then when you apply it. It's the wrong shade for some reason, but you know that's your shade. That literally happened with me. Whole time though, I needed to shake it up. So I have this clear palette I like to put my foundation on. I do three pumps. And then I take my finger. Which or you could take a brush, but I'm gonna just take my finger right now. And I like just start spreading it out like this. I was left on my finger, I just wipe it off go in with this Milani Make It Last Original Spray. This is the big version. Y'all, this spray is so good. And I spray my face. I take like a brush that's like like this. I don't know. I forget the name of these brushes, but brushes like these. I have this big one right here. Any type of brush like this. That's my favorite brush to blend out my foundation. I literally just tap my face with it. Just tap, tap, tap. I don't really go in with concealer, but this is the Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is the first one they came out with. It dries down hella fast. So instead of me doing concealer next, I like to go in with like my cream products. So I have this cream blush by P. Louise, which is called the Cheek of It. Well, this is a liquid blush. I know it's the difference between liquid, cream, and powder. This one is liquid. So I love this blush. This one is in Baked Biscuit. And also I have a cream bronzer by Revolution Beauty. I'm just going to take this Morphe R36. Put it where I would bronze. Take this brush. And like, I like to focus my blush right here. And then blend outwards. Okay, so I have the Juno and Cold Sponge. I love using this for my um, powder and my cream. So I'm using the bottom to blend out the blush. Okay, so after the blush, what we're going to do is the concealer now. And this is the Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is in the shade 410. Carving up my lip simply because I have like hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation around like the corners. To start... We're down here, blending it out. 
and also the Juno and Co sponge has like this indentation where it's like perfect for like going underneath your eyes also the powder puff I use is this real techniques powder puff I just like put my hand in it my finger in it pick up some on the powder puff before you blend it out you want to blend with whatever sponge you use to blend it out and then go in with the powder puff see that it's very blurring so I really like this powder it's very blurring and then I take the rest of the powder everywhere else to set so my chin I don't powder my whole face simply because like I have dry skin so you want to do what's best for your skin I like to go in with the powder contour is this P Louise powder contour and it's called the just roll with it palette I'm using the darkest gingerbread shade this one right here pointed powder brush this one is really good y'all for like contour so I go in and then I just literally just tap it same thing I did with the cream but like also pushing it forward that's like me trying to find a jawline I use this other blush palette by P. Louise this one is called Take the Whisk and I love using this shade right here my blush brush is this pointed brush it's just a random brush I love going in and how I apply my blush because this is like my technique I just focus it right here just really focus it even getting under the eye I really focus it right there and then I blend it outward so after doing that blush I go under my contour just a little bit just swipe it off now that we're done with the powder stuff we are going to spray our face so shake up your spray and spray our face again really like spray so I'm gonna show y'all how I really spray my face close my eyes okay so as y'all can see my face is like mostly dry do y'all see the difference like it looks so good right now okay so once you put your lashes on you're not done yet but like you just want to make sure they're like dry like mostly dry so before we even do anything else we are gonna do our liner the NYX black lip liner or well, liner stick this is just a black one I think it has sparkles in it what I like to use is the benefit they real magnet mascara so I just do it like this because I'm not applying it for like my lashes specifically to make sure they look long I'm applying it so my lashes blend in with the fake lashes so I literally just blink on the wand and I let that dry I do my lip calm whatever lipstick whatever lip gloss you put on to moisturize Okay, then after that, alright, I can't find my lipstick I usually use, but I love this Juvia's Place Gloss in the shade Nubian New. And not as much spray as before, but just enough to set it. And this is how I do my makeup. Like, y'all, y'all see the face from the side, from the other side. Honestly, I feel like it looks better in the flesh. Like, her. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more. Um, check out the, my last video. Everything I use will be listed down below. Bye. Bye.